Many, many months ago, I started this YouTube channel, and the first setup that I did was this little bowl. It had a it had a couple cool plants, some of these branches, and a couple of rocks, and I showed everyone how to set it up. This ended up being a big failure. Sometimes just with aquatic setups, they just they just end up failing. Just because of maybe things like algae, like what happened to this. I I'll do a whole walkthrough on what happened, but other times they just end up doing very, very well. Like this jar up here that's on my desk. This is actually doing very, very well, and this is all completely underwater. There's no algae, and the moss is just thriving. This bowl, though, just got completely overrun by algae, and I just gave up and decided just to let all the algae die. So let's clean this out and make something completely new. So this is the algae. It's all dead now, but it's it's actually really cool. I wish I could show everyone how this feels. It's almost like a felt. It does feel pretty interesting and surprisingly soft. But let's let's show you guys some of the stuff in here. Move these out of the way. Underneath, there's some. Um, there's still all the. Uh, some some dead algae under here as well as all the sand and the granite that we added in lots of this is just hard hard sand doesn't really move around that much so we'll dig all this out okay so now this is all cleaned out now we can begin setting up our new scape right here I have some activated carbon and what this is for is just to make sure that there's not going to be any more bacteria or probably large things of whatever this is. It's probably not all algae. It'll also keep the water nice and clear, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. I probably should do more, but this'll I don't wanna I don't wanna have too much of it because I am running a little bit low on this, so at some point I'll have to stock up on some more. So this setup isn't going to have a false bottom, mostly because it's going to be a bit more marginal than the previous one, meaning there's going to be a little bit of water at the bottom, but it's not going to be completely submerged. So I'm just going to get some of this leftover sand and put it in the bottom. So now I have some of these smooth river stones. I got these at Home Depot and I got a massive bag for around $10. I used them for another setup and they're the also the same kind that I have in the, the White Tree Frog Paludarium and I found they do very well. So I'm just going to put a very, maybe stack up a couple in the back and we'll make a cool little barrier. I just like to orient them in a way where they'd be stacked in the wild. I, I do have some glue here, so I might do that if they don't stand up. Just gonna, back there, there's gonna be a bit of a barrier for some plants in the front. It's gonna be a little bit wet, and we're gonna have some, some mosses, which will look really, really nice. You can also probably find these in a local stream, something like that, for free. Just, just don't take any more than you need, but unless you have a massive bowl like this you probably won't need too many for the substrate in this we're going to be using cocoa fiber just because it's what I have and I also want to experiment with how this does in the water um, you can also use just dirt in your backyard or an ABG mix or something but I'm just putting that in the back just so we can uh, provide a little bit of nutrients to the plants that are going back there and now for planting. The first plant we're going to be using is pennywort. This is from my backyard. It does very well marginally, and there's a, a very nice river in our backyard, and it, it grows incredibly well, so I thought it would do very well in here, and it's done uh, does well marginally in lots of the indoor setups that I've had as well. So we're just going to plant it right in the back. Should the roots go under? Move that rock back as well. There we go. Next, we have some moss right over here. Collected from my backyard as well. I haven't tried these as much, but what we're going to do is plant it up front like that. Lots of the front is just going to be filled in with water, so I assume it'll do very well. Here's another kind. 
really like the, I think it's a fern moss or something like that. If the camera will ever focus, there. See, look on the left side. Looks a lot like a fern. Some cool little fern markings on it. So I believe that's what it is. If not, that's that's totally fine. Planted up front as well. I probably will put a little bit of the moss draping over the rocks too. And there's a little bit more pennywort over here. I'm probably not going to use all of it, but I have something else I might put it in as well. Another setup, like maybe I'll plant it in the frog tank or something. Stick that over here like so. I also decided to add another rock in on the right that black one right there just to make it look a bit more stable and natural. This is a bamboo plant. This was the one in Luna's Aquarium, if you remember right, but I had to cut it back because it was dying for some reason, but it's doing much better now. And this setup will be somewhat marginal, similar to what Luna was in. And I cut it off, and the roots have been doing very, very well, so I think it's time to give it a bit bigger home, and this would be perfect for it. This is just a basic Lucky Bamboo plant you can get at Home Depot, or lots of the time even grocery stores will have them as well. Now I'm not going to be planting this part of it, I'm just going to be putting the roots into the ground. So they'll just spread around and probably go into the moss area down here over time. So we'll just put it back here and it'll just grow. Alright, the setup is all done. The last thing we have to do is just mist it, and we're going to give it quite a bit because we want the moss to be almost partially submerged because the the bamboo is very dependent, as well as the moss and everything else. The, the pennywort is dependent on having water because they're just marginal, so I'll show you this. This is almost, uh, this moss here is almost completely submerged but there's just a little bit sticking out of the top. What would happen is maybe in, if this was in a swamp or uh, near a river similar to my backyard, this would just be uh, partially filled up, then all these plants would be growing in the back, like the pennywort and the bamboo. And maybe this would just extend forward into a river or pond or whatever. So I think this is pretty good. The only thing is I might, uh, over time as it grows in, add some, add some new plants up here just to see what it does, but I hope everyone enjoyed watching, and let me know what you think. Do you think this looked better than my original, or possibly if it just, if you like, if you think that this one's better, if you think that new plants should be added in, let me know what you think. I always love reading the comments, and I hope that everyone likes this as well. Bye.